Hi, I'm Pavan from Kausalya Classes. This is the fourth lecture of complex number. In lecture 1, 2 and 3, we discussed introduction, addition, multiplication, subtraction and division of two different complex number and polar form of a complex number. Here we are going to discuss the square root of a complex number and cube root of unity. But before that, let us suppose I'm having a quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a b c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 then the root of this quadratic equation can be given as minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac upon 2a and we already know that b is called a discriminant it is called discriminant and the value of discriminant is min b square minus 4 ac and if discriminant is less than 0 the roots will be imaginary or roots will be complex so if you are having a uh, quadratic equation for example x square plus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 2 under root plus minus under root minus 2 uh, so this can be written as plus minus under root 2 iota so the solution of this quadratic, quadratic equation will be solution set is equal to under root 2 iota and minus under root 2 iota so in this way you can solve the quadratic equation whether you are not having any much concern about whether the discriminant is positive or zero or negative whatever the discriminant will be the corresponding result you can give now today's in today's lecture uh, we are interested to deal with uh, square root of a complex number square root of a complex number so see complex number is the father of all number means any real number can be represented by a complex number but a complex number cannot be represented by a real number always let us suppose complex number is purely real so it's easy to represent with the real number but all complex number cannot be represented you can understand if this is a complex number then this will be the real number then this will be the uh, rational number and this will be the integer and this will be the whole number and this will be the natural number so this is a complex number this is the real number this is the rational number and this is the integer and this is whole number and this is natural number so I think the picture is clear but our concern is to find out square root square root of a complex number so let us suppose um, I have to evaluate under root a plus b iota so let us suppose the square root of a complex number is a complex number uh, which is equal to x because any number any number can be represented by a complex number whether it is a uh, whole number natural number complex num uh, complex number itself can be represented by a complex number but all numbers whether it is real integer rational or irrational all numbers can be represented by the complex number so square root of a complex number is equal to x plus y iota this is what our assumption is if i want to square i'm gonna square this expression on both side so on squaring let's suppose this is a equation one on squaring equation 1 I will get a plus b iota is equal to x plus y iota to the 
power 2 and this will be equal to x square plus y iota to the power 2 plus 2x y iota and this is equal to x square minus y square plus 2x y iota so as we know that the real part is equal to the real part and imaginary part will be equal to imaginary part so by this logic a is equal to x square minus y square and b is equal to 2xy now uh, I just want to recall one concept uh, see if I want to write if I want to write a algebraic expression that is in the form of a plus b so let us suppose a plus b to the power 2 can be equal to a minus b to the power 2 plus 4 a b remember this is a algebraic expression or algebraic identity you can say so by that logic by that logic if let us suppose I want to write x square plus y square to the power 2 then this will be is equal to x square minus y square to the power 2 plus 4 x square y square okay so x square minus y square is a right so you can write a square and 2x square is uh, if I want to square it square this I will get 4x square and y square that is b square and if I'm gonna square this I will get x square a square so this will give me b square so x square plus y square will give me under root a square plus b square so now I am having two equation the first equation I got x square minus y square is equal to a let us suppose this is equation 1 and another equation is x square plus y square is under root a square plus b square okay so this is equation 2 if I want to find out the value of x and y then I have to add add equation 1 and 2 so this will give me 2x square is equal to under root a square plus b square plus a so x is equal to 1 upon 2 under root a square plus b square minus a to the power 1 upon 2 or square root of this expression and similarly if I'm gonna subtract subtract equation 1 from equation 2 I will get y that will be equal to under root 1 upon 2 in the similar way under root a square plus b square this will be plus this will be plus and this will be minus because in in first case we we were adding equation 1 and 2 so I will get this plus sign and in case second I'm subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 so I will get this expression so once I got our assumption uh, were under root a plus b iota that was x plus y iota so this will be the answer under root 
1 upon 2 a square plus b square plus a plus under root 1 upon 2 x square a square plus b square minus a iota so this will be the expression of square root of a complex number for example if you want to find out the value of uh, under root minus 5 plus 12 iota then by squaring both side and you should follow the same procedure or you can use the direct formula to evaluate it so the formula was uh, under root uh, 1 upon 2 bracket under root a square plus b square plus a plus under root 1 upon 2 square under root under root a square plus b square minus a iota so put the value you will get 1 upon 2 under root minus 5 square plus 12 square plus minus 5 and plus under root 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 under root minus 5 square plus 12 square minus minus 5 iota so I want to solve this expression further this will give me 1 upon 2 and 5 square plus 12 square under root will give me the value 13 so this will be 5 square plus 12 square will be the 13 and uh, this will give me minus 5 and the second expression will be 1 upon 2 13 plus 5 so this will give me the value 1 upon 2 into 8 plus under root 1 upon 2 into 18 iota so this will give me the value under root 4 plus uh, under root 9 iota that is, is equal to 2 that is, is equal to 2 plus 3 iota but but here I am squaring both sides so the value will be plus minus and plus minus so the answer will be either uh, 2 plus 3 iota or minus 2 minus 3 iota so by this formula you can you can use this formula which we were derived earlier directly or you should do it manually and, the, and you should follow the pattern or method which we were used to derive that expression our next concept is cube root of unity cube root of unity as you know the unity is one itself so cube root root of unity is uh, 1 to the power 1 upon 3 or you can write by this is equal to let us suppose I am writing this the value of this number by a complex number z so by cubing both side by cubing on both side on both side let us suppose this is the equation 1 and this will become 1 my 1 is equal to z to the power 3 so this will give me z to the power 3 minus 1 that is, is equal to 0 so if I'm gonna apply identity that a to the power 3 minus b to the power 3 that is, is equal to 
a minus b a square plus b square plus a b then I will get z minus 1 and z square plus z plus 1 is equal to 0 so by this logic I will get either z is equal to 1 or z is equal to minus 1 plus minus under root 1 square minus 4 a c upon 2a that is is equal to minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota upon 2 so the cube root of unity will give 3 answer the cube root of unity will give me 3 answer either 1 or minus 1 uh, plus under root 3 iota by 2 or minus 1 minus under root 3 iota by 2 so uh, this this is the cube root of unity as we want to find out the cube of unity the answer should be 3 or the roots will be 3 so now we are going to discuss the property of cube root of unity properties properties of cube root cube roots of unity c first each complex number each complex cube root of unity is the square of the other each complex cube root complex cube root was minus 1 plus under root 3 iota upon 2 and minus 1 plus under root 3 iota by 2 if I want to square this what I will get I will get minus 1 upon 2 plus under root 3 by 2 iota to the power 2 so minus 1 upon 2 to the power 2 and plus under root 3 by 2 iota to the power 2 plus 2 into minus 1 upon 2 into under 3 by 2 iota so this will give me 1 upon 4 and this will give me 3 by 4 uh, iota to the power 2 will give me minus 2 and minus uh, 2 and 2 will get cancelled under root 3 by 2 iota so this iota square will give me 1 upon 4 minus 3 upon 4 minus under root 3 by 2 iota if I will solve further this will be equal to minus 1 upon 2 uh, this will give me minus 1 upon 2 minus under root 3 by 2 iota so look at here look at here once I have squared uh, the first complex cube root I got the second complex uh, second uh, complex cube root of unity so let us suppose I am saying minus 1 plus under root 3 iota by 2 as omega then omega square will nothing but minus 1 minus under root 3 iota upon 2 remember this result this is the first property of complex cube root the next the next is next property omega to the power 3 will give the result 1 how as we have already discussed that omega is minus 1 plus under root 3 iota by 2 and omega square 
that is minus 1 minus under root 3 iota by 2 so if I'm going to multiply equation 1 and 2 I will get omega to the power 3 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 plus under root 3 by 2 iota and minus 1 upon 2 plus minus under root 3 by 2 iota so this is a form of a plus b and a minus b so the answer will be 1 upon 2 to the power 2 minus under root 3 upon 2 iota to the power 2 so this will give me 1 upon 4 and minus 3 by 4 iota square iota square will give me the value minus 1 so 1 upon 4 minus minus plus 3 by 4 so this will give me 4 upon 4 and answer will be 1 so omega to the power 3 will give me the value 1 third result is 1 into omega into omega square this is just the another derived version of uh, second property this is nothing but omega to the power 3 that is, is equal to 1 and so if this is true uh, we can prove the another form of the same equation like if this is true then we can say omega square is equal to 1 upon omega or we can say omega is equal to 1 upon omega square okay now prove that prove that fourth property 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 to prove this property of cube root of unity it, it simply you should put the value of omega so value of omega is minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus under root 3 by 2 omega and plus minus 1 upon 2 minus under root 3 by 2 omega so once you are going to add this this value will get cancelled and this minus half and minus half will become minus 1 and 1 minus 1 will give you 0 so this property is also valid so by this logic you can solve so many problems and it's very easy uh, to find out the value of omega let us suppose someone is saying omega to the power 1 omega to the power 1 is nothing but minus 1 plus under root 3 by 2 omega right omega to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1 minus under root 3 by 2 omega right omega to the power 3 that is 1 omega to the power 4 omega to the power 4 can be is, can be written as omega to the power 3 into omega and omega to the power 3 is 1 so omega to the power 4 will be omega itself so by this logic uh, we can find out any power or any order of omega for example if someone is asking uh, that uh, minus 1 minus omega uh, plus omega square to the power 5 plus 1 plus omega minus omega square to the power 5 is equal to 32 so what we should do we should try to evaluate it first so instead of omega uh, what we can write um, we should club 1 and omega square together and omega we can rearrange the terms right in next step you will get the idea why I am doing so is equal to 32 so as we know uh, that uh, in our properties we have gone through the idea 1 plus omega plus omega to the power 2 is equal to 0 so 1 plus omega square will give me minus omega and 1 plus omega will give me minus omega square so this will give me minus 2 omega to the power 5 plus minus 2 omega square to the power 5 that is, is equal to 32 so this will give me 2 to the power minus 2 to the power 5 omega to the power 5 plus 
minus 2 to the power 5 omega to the power 10 that is, is equal to 32. So this will give me the result minus 32 omega to the power 5 can be written as omega to the power 3 into omega to the power 2 plus this will give me minus 32 minus 32 omega to the power 3 to the power 3 into omega that is, is equal to 32. So here you can understand the value of omega to the power 3 will become 1 and this value will also become 1 so resultant value is minus 32 I want to take common from both the side I will get omega to the power 2 plus omega and as if we are going to take the help of this equation omega plus omega square will give me the value minus 1 so by this logic minus 32 into minus 1 is equal to 32 and left hand side is equal to right hand side so this kind of problem you can solve by your own if you want a question bank please comment on this video and I will provide you the full question bank of complex number so this was the last lecture of complex number if you want to discuss further you can just like this video and ask for your doubts in comment box thank you thank you so much we'll meet again in a different video